16th April 2022 Morning Murli Om Shanti Papdada Madhavan Sweet children in order to claim a kingdom for 21 births do need the wealth of knowledge and by knowledge and inspire others to become it as well Question What is the main reason for experiencing bad omens as you move along answer bad omens are experienced because of not following through it fully if your intellect has faith and you constantly follow the directions of the one you can never experience bad omens that would be constant benefit those who come late can go a lot of further ahead it is a game of a second If you belong to Baba you claim all rights and you receive the inheritance of the treasures of limitless happiness but you must constantly follow his shrimat song you are the ocean of love with trust for one drop om shanti the meaning of om shanti has been explained to your children again and again omens am a soul and thus is my body the father says am a soul the supreme soul he doesn't have a body because he is the father of all you cannot see i the soul am the supreme soul it is correct to see am a soul a child of the supreme soul it is absolutely wrong to see i the soul am the supreme soul Your children know the father you understand that this world is old and that the golden age is known as the new world however those poor helpless people do not know when the golden age existed they think that the iron age still has 40000 years remaining your children understand that by following shrimat we are establishing the new world The father says I'm establishing the new world through you. Destruction doesn't happen through you. Your shiv shakti is the mahatmya prashini of the father of people. Brahma, the non-violent shakti army. You are the one who have the right to claim the inheritance from the father. You Brahmins are the ones who receive shrimat and those who conquer the vice of lust this is why those who come here are told that only if they have conquered the vice of lust can they meet the father there are some who are real children and others who are step children real children never enlarge in vice we have now found the father who is the ocean of knowledge Krishna cannot be called the ocean of knowledge. The praise of the deities is completely separate from the praise of Shubhava. The praise of the deities is that they are completely voiceless, whereas Shubhava is known as the seed of the human world tree, the one who is the truth, the living and the blissful one, the ocean of knowledge. This body is lifeless to begin with. and when a soul enters it it becomes a life only the father the seed knows how the human world re emerges he is giving you knowledge baba says even if i give you a little knowledge you go from this old world to the new world that is known as the shiv temple heaven which is established by shubhapa where the living deities reside on the path of devotion they have been made to sit in temples you are true spiritual brahmans shri baba has made you belong to him through brahma even though worldly brahmins say that they are mouth born protein they still say we bow to the brahmans who are deities because they think we brahmins are worshipers you are the ones for what the worship wishes brahmins bow down to the pure ones 
you are now Brahmins. There will come a time when you will also say, We bow down to the Brahmins who are deities, because you who are to become worthy of worship will then become worshippers. These are very deep and entertaining things. Those who follow Srimad will embed all of this and will also inspire others to embed it. For instance, to whatever extent a barrister or a surgeon studies, so the medicines or the points of law will remain in his intellect. They are all given the title of barrister, but one of them may be a millionaire, whereas another may not have any income at all. Here too donations are given number-wise and so that return is also the same. This is why it is said, the more you donate, the more you receive there. If you donate, you receive the return of it for a temporary period. You will take your next birth in a wealthy household. Here you claim a right to a kingdom for 21 births. You must note down all the points. You must not give lectures while reading from the piece of paper. You have to keep it all in your antics and give lectures. Just as Shubhava is the ocean of knowledge, the pair of fire, so you also have to become that. A child has returned. My father is also my teacher, and so you too are my father and teacher. That one is limited, this one is unlimited. The unlimited father tells you unlimited matters. Unlimited fathers will tell you limited matters. He gives limited happiness. Even those who give limited happiness are given the title of Sarvodaya, means the one who has mercy for all. That too is false. They do not have mercy for all. That is, for everyone in the entire world, the Father is the one who has mercy for all and makes them pure. He also makes the elements pure. There is only the one world and that same world changes from new to old. Bharat used to be heaven and Bharat is now hell. It is not that the land of Buddhists or the land of Christians were heaven. Everyone remembers the Father because he is heavenly God, the Father, who liberates everyone from sorrow. He is the liberator as well as the guide. The Father says, children, for little time remains, remove your intellect's yoga from everyone as well as from bodies. We are now going to our Father. We will then go down and rule the kingdom. You play the main parts of heroes and heroines. The mother, father and children are all effort makers. The one who is loved at the extreme. The Supreme Father, the Supreme Soul is inspiring us to make effort. He is also remembered on the path of devotion. But they do not know him. The Rishis and the Munis etc. said that the Creator and his creation are infinite. So how can the Kurus of today say that they are the God? In the Delvara temple, they show an image of Aditi at ground level. They have shown an image of black stone. Then there is an image of gold at Achalghar, means the home of stability. Down below he is doing tapasya and up above there is an image of heaven. Those are our memorials. He makes impure ones pure, and so this must be the confluence age. There are also those who belong to the path of devotion at this time. Baba also says with this body, his own memorial in those physical temples. He says, I see that those are my memorials. You can also see your memorial. Previously, you didn't know that. That was your memorial. Now you know that you who were worthy of worship became worshippers. We were deities who became warriors, merchants, and shudras, and we have now become Brahmins. 
you also understand the meaning of hum so how does the new world became old it is when the new one is created that the old one is destroyed surely establishment through brahma has to take place here people are created here brahma is shown sitting alone in the subtle region when he has finished creating creation he becomes an ancient you are the mouth one creation of the father of people brahma the jewels of the brahman clan in fact you are sarvodaya leaders and so have mercy for all by following shrimad you have mercy for yourselves and also for all others doubly elevated shibaba sits here and makes you elevated in fact only the one should be called free free means the purifier the pastor of salvation is only one this is an unreal false world they even say false things about the creator and creation baba speaks the truth this is known as the story of becoming true narayan look what you were and what you are becoming through knowledge you claim a high status to whatever extent you follow shrima you claim the unlimited inheritance from the unlimited father this is why it is said shrimad bhagavad gita means the gita of the elevated directions of god all other scriptures are its creation the gita is the mother and father because the gita has been falsified no one receives the inheritance through that the children know about those things it isn't that only the old ones are clever many new ones go ahead of the older ones those who come later will also claim a high status this game only takes a second belong to baba and claim a right what can baba do if someone is not able to stay all of that you need is for your intellect to have faith and to follow shrimad just as there can be different omens that influence your other income so there are also different omens here you experience bad omens when you do not follow shrimad otherwise it is very easy if you became a child of baba and mama you claim the inheritance of the treasures of limited happiness there is benefit in following the directions of fun you have now found the one whom you had been remembering for half a cycle and so you should stick to him why do you get confused baba says i have come once again to give you your fortune of the kingdom according to the drama you must follow my instructions remember me with your intellects i don't give you any other difficulty it is you who claim the inheritance of heaven yesterday it was heaven and today it is hell heaven has to be created once again yesterday we were the masters but we have become beggars today this is a play about changing from a prince to a beggar it is such an easy thing you do not become soul conscious it is this that takes effort sanyasi see if you get angry put a bead in your mouth all of those examples refers to this time the example of the buzzing moth is also from here they make the dirty insect become like themselves it is a wonder all have definitely become like dirty insects you brahmins buzz around them some brahmins became ready to fly some still remain shudras the example of the snake is also from here consider yourselves to be souls because you have to shed your old skins and take new skins in the golden age the father is the ocean of knowledge whereas the gita is so tiny they memorize the forces and everyone is impressed by them while studying gita we have reached the end of the iron age no one has received salvation i give you a little knowledge and you go to heaven 
you have to become very sweet and by knowledge you must turn this knowledge do the spiritual business in the early morning hours and you will earn a huge income souls are refreshed in the morning this habit will be instilled by your practicing it again and again whoever does this now will see a high status an intellect that has faith is victorious but for an intellect with doubt there is destruction you have found the unlimited father why create doubts about this shubhava makes you into the masters of the world why should you forget him you should love the swells of knowledge very much the father a great donor is making you into the masters of the world each well of this knowledge is worth millions of rupees acha to the sweetest beloved long lost and now found children love remembrance and good morning from the mother the father bab dada the spiritual father says namaste to the spiritual children the spiritual children says namaste and good morning to the spiritual father essence for the dharna first point have mercy for yourselves by following shrimat be the ones who have mercy for all and change this impure world into a pure one second point do spiritual business at amrit vela and accumulate an income churn the ocean of knowledge definitely make effort to become soul conscious blessing may you be a master creator and an embodiment of power whose every power works under your orders explanation the children whose powers work according to their orders have the authority of being master almighty authorities every power in the form of a creation comes in front of a master creator as as you order it it comes in front of you when you say yes present at every moment and to every direction of the fathers to every step of the father shrimat every power also sees yes present or yes master i am present those whose powers work according to their orders are called master creators slogan to be simple and become a sample for many souls is a huge service om shanti and valuable elevated versions of mateshwari ji success through god's knowledge received directly thus imperishable knowledge we are receiving it's received directly from god the ocean of knowledge we call this knowledge godly knowledge because people with this knowledge can be liberated from their bondages of sorrow of many bonds you don't then have karmic bondages and this is why this knowledge is called imperishable knowledge versus this knowledge from only the one eternal supreme father the supreme soul because he himself is imperishable all human souls go at its cycle of birth and death and this is why the knowledge we receive from him liberates us from the karmic bondages this is why knowledge we get from people is called false knowledge or perishable knowledge however deities are immortal because they receive this imperishable knowledge from the eternal supreme soul this shows that god is one and his knowledge is one together with this knowledge we also have to keep two main things in our intellects firstly we have to stay away from vicious iron age company and secondly we have to observe precautions about not eating impure food and drink only by observing these precautions are we able to make our lives 
सक्सेसफुल अच्छा ओम शांति